Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I have a little first impressions try on playtime with a little something I got from Ulta today. I had a 20% off literally anything coupon. And yes, this is the Japanesque Velvet Touch Metals eyeshadow palette. I've never bought anything from Japanesque before. I'm going to unbox this as a while. You know, just pretending like I didn't open this the second that I got it. I've been lusting after this basically every time that I've gone into an Ulta in the past month. And I also realized in this that I haven't bought a palette since the release of the Pastel Goth, I think. And that's really weird for me because I love eyeshadow palettes. This is it. It's really cute. It kind of looks like a nice TARDIS blue right there, very nice and metallic. And here are all of the very pretty shadows and I've swatched these in store. I haven't like played with them on my face yet or anything. So y'all are gonna get the real time touches. They swatch very, very nicely, super duper pigmented. And I'm really excited about that. The only thing I notice is that there's no mirror. I mean, my other favorite palette that I'm working with right now is a Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette and that doesn't have a mirror in it either. But I like to have a mirror with this because these are very bright, very pigmented colors and I would like to be able to see what I'm doing. But fortunately, every other palette I am besides like those two have mirrors in them. Also, the packaging does feel really nice. It feels like, you know, things aren't going to break and it's heavy and it feels like the $34 that it was full price. I know I paid less for it than 20% off, but you know what I mean. So anyway, I'm going to use this to play around with a little bit of eye makeup. I also purchased two of the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliners, which y'all will see in a future. Well, y'all will see the green one in a future video. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the red one. So that's a side note. I have these palettes right here. I'm going to use this one as my main one, but this one, the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette just has a lot of like matte neutrals that I can use to pair with this because I think these are more of a satin finish, but just in case I would want something, you know, kind of in the middle in the crease, I think this would be really, really good. So I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we're gonna get into this. Okay, so for my primer, I'm going to use my usual NYX HD eyeshadow base because that just works out really, really well. IMO. And I'm genuinely unsure as to what I'm going to do with this because it's so pretty and rainbowy and overwhelming, but I'm kind of leaning towards trying out the green because it's really hard. Greens and purples, I think, are very difficult to do. A lot of companies will have greens and purples in their palettes, but they won't actually come out green and purple when you put them on your face, like not very vibrant anyway. I'm looking at you, Too Faced. Anyway, I think I'm going to do something with that. I'm gonna put the green in my crease because it is kind of shimmery. We are going to break all of the rules of makeup today. is very pretty. I might have to deepen it up. I don't wear a lot of green, but when I do, I like it to be this lovely and vibrant. Now, I'm not going to be able to do a wear test for y'all so much just because it's like 7.36 at night, so we are not going to be doing that. If I like it, if it ends up good, it will end up in a favorites video now, won't it? And the green is shade number four by the way. Now I'm thinking on the lid, I have two options. I either wanna do the yellow or the orange. And I think with this green, it might work best to do the yellow. That's nice. Let me see, it might work better if it were foiled. So I'm gonna spritz a little bit of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray on my brush and just see what that does. I mean, it was pretty pigmented already, but I didn't know if this would help. There's also a lot of fallout going on right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's like hella fallout. I'm very happy that I'm not wearing foundation right now because there would be an issue. This is a really nice color combination though, I think. And I wanna blend more of that green in because I am obsessed with that green. This seems like the obvious choice for my brow bone. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna go and use a Morphe palette. This is workable. Like they're not super metallic, even though it's called the metal, like the velvet touch metals. 
I think it's more velvet than metal, so it would be nice to probably use a few mattes in with this, but I also don't think it looks bad if you only use this palette. Since I really wanted to use that orange, I think I'm gonna go in with the orange on the lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna blend it kind of down-ish as opposed to right into my lower lashes, if that makes sense, like kind of down at the corners, because I just kind of like that look. I'm gonna just use my NYX retractable eye pencil in black on the lower lash line. And only go so far over as to like where the eyeshadow blends down. I like this a lot. This is good. This is a good thing. And I think I might just use the same shade as my brow bone on the inner corner because that's literally like the only really light shade that I have in this palette. So I guess that would be like my one criticism besides the fallout. Not a bad inner corner highlight by any means. I don't think I'm gonna do eyeliner. I'm just gonna put on some mascara and maybe a little bit of blush, lipstick, whatever. For my lashes, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I've been using this for so long. Not this specific one. I change out my mascara so I don't go blind, but you know what I mean. I'm also 99% certain that my bangs are so long that I will be forever getting mascara in my hair. You? Okay, so. I'm just gonna highlight my face with the usual stuff from my Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette, which I finally hit every so tiny little pan on. So I'm gonna use my Milani Big Blush in Rose Doro. I like this blush a lot because it provides like a blush and bronzer all at once. And I think it goes really well with the eye look. Now I have to figure out a lipstick. This is the first one that I saw and I think it'll go great, so I think that's a sign that I should use it. And this is my NYX Lip Lingerie in Seduction. I've mentioned this before, but it's a really nice dupe for Lolita too. I like this. This is good. I am having a good time. I'm having a fantastic time. So this is my finished look with this. I am so happy with this. Like, it's a green. That looks like a green when you put it on your eyes. That isn't the Kat Von D Metal Crush Shadow in Iggy. And like, yellow eyeshadow and orange eyeshadow, and it's just a rainbow. I'm so happy. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos from me, and I will see you on my next one. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.